Okay, fifth grade, lesson 115. This is on area, and it's kind of part two about area. Okay, so what so far do you know about area? A length times width. Length times width, very good, okay. Area, and so far you've learned how to do a rectangle, like a piece of carpet or something. Um, and we were, we were to say it was uh, five feet long by three feet long. Okay, then how, many, how much area does it cover? Do you remember this lesson? Oh, yeah, we times that, and it'd yeah. be 5 times five 3, times three. which is uh, 15. 15, good. Feet, and remember me doing the squared? Square root, yeah. Okay, because not only are we multiplying the 3 and the 5, but we're also multiplying the feet times feet. And feet times feet is feet squared. Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, now, I want to show you something. Okay, we kind of showed it like this. Is it length times width on type? No, that's coming up. Okay. Later. Okay. So if I had, you see this three feet, one, two, three, and you see this five, one, two, three, four, five spots. Okay. And it makes up 15. That's how we get square feet. Get it? Yeah. That's why this two is said square foot. Because there's 15 square feet. One by one by one by one. So we have two, three, four, five, and so forth, all the way to 15. Okay, does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. All right, now, you're going to be doing more complex figures, not just a rectangle. Because when you're buying carpet, you're not just doing a floor space that's just a rectangle. Sometimes it goes like this. Okay? It's more than just your living room. You want carpet over here, too. So you need to know how much area you need of carpet. Okay. You get it? So what we're going to do, I'm going to put some measurements on here. I went into the room and measured. Okay. Not really, but, okay? So this is 7 feet on this side, this length. Okay. Right here is 5 feet. Right here is 4 feet. And right here is 3 feet. Okay? Now. What about on top? That's what we're fixing to find out. So watch what happens. If from here to here is five feet, mm -hmm. and from here to here is four feet, what's that one? How how long is this whole piece? Um, nine. Feet. Good job. So we figured out that this from here to here is nine feet. Because from here to here, and then here to here, is not... You see how that happens? Yeah, what about the one between 5 and 4 that goes up? That's what we're fixing to find out next. Okay. Okay? <laughs> and so, whenever you're looking at this, then you're going to look at the ones that are parallel to this. So we're going to be looking at this line and this line. Mm -hmm. Okay? If we know this from here to here is 7 foot... Yeah. Well, you know, from here to here is three, then what is here to here? Here mm. to here. Six feet, maybe? Well, now, wait a minute. From here to here is seven. So from here to here would be seven. Oh. So. It'd be five, wouldn't it? Close. Four. All right. What? four. Four from here to here and here to here equals seven. Four plus three. But you see the one ab above it? It looks a little longer. I, maybe it's because I didn't draw it. Oh, okay. You don't guess. Don't ever guess. Oh, I was guessing. Don't guess. Do you see how I got the number? Yeah. Seven foot here, so three plus four makes seven. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now, once I get all my sections having... An amount, I'm going to break this up. Okay? Now, I can either make this rectangle 1 and this rectangle 2, or I can cut it across here and make this rectangle 1 and this big, long one rectangle 2. Okay. How do you like it? That way. This way? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's find... Rectangle 1's area. 
it'd be. Now stay with me. Seven feet. No, because seven feet's from here to here. I only want from here. It'd be five, four, and four. Wouldn't it? Well, okay, now wait a minute. If no, it'd be this five and four. four. It'd just be five and four. Very good. If this side is four, then this side's four. Seven wouldn't if be any If this side's five, then this side's five, right? Seven wouldn't be neither. Right. Okay, but we're just doing rectangle one. So I'm going to say rectangle one, length times width. So what's my length? Uh, five. Five feet. And what's my width? Uh, four. And five feet times four feet? It's, uh, 20. 20 feet squared. Okay, so we know the answer to that piece for right now. Okay, now let's find rectangle two. Okay. Okay, rectangle two's area is length times width still. It'd be four, three, and nine. Okay, now oh, wait. I have a length and a width. What's or the... a length and a width. Oh. What is this length? It's just nine and three. And what is this length? That's just... I don't know. What is this length? Nine feet. Nine. What is this one? Uh, uh nine. nine. Yeah. What is this one? Three. And what is this one? Three. So what two measurements of length and width are we going to be using? Nine and three. Very good. Nine feet? That'd be twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So rectangle twos is twenty-seven feet square. So what's the total amount? Twenty plus twenty-seven Makes would be 47 feet squared. Okay. Get it? Yeah. Okay? That's how you find the area of a complex shape. It's only complex because yeah. it's not just something simple like a rectangle. We had to make it into two rectangles, you see? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try another one. You're going to do this one on your paper, so draw this with me. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I think mine's good. Okay. This one's um meters. So this this one right here is seven meters. This one over here <coughs> is four meters. This one over here is seven meters. <coughs> This one down here mm -hmm. is four meters. Okay? Now, we need to know this one and this one. Help me out. Okay? Remember what I told you that we need four looking? meters and four meters. Time out. Let Eli. Yeah. Watch. Okay. Whenever you're trying to figure out one of these si <coughs> sides, you always look to the parallel lines. So this one parallels with this one and this one. You see that? Mm -hmm. So if all of this is seven, then all of this would be seven. Yes. And if this is four, then that's four. No, what makes four plus what is seven? Four plus three. Three. You see how all of this equals seven? So this plus this would equal seven. Okay. Do you see what ha I just yeah. did? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now help me figure out the next one. If all that's we're seven. We're going to know this, so we're going to look at this one. It'd be the same answer. Three minutes, very good. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, now, where do you want to have it? you want to have it this way or have it this way? That way. I don't care, it's up to you. Which way? The sideways one. Okay, <clears throat> this way? Yeah. So I'm going to put a dotted line to show that we are breaking it apart, okay, in two pieces for now. I'm going to name this one rectangle one and rectangle two. Good? Mm -hmm. Help me out with rectangle one. Rectangle one's area is length times width, right? Yep, seven times four. Nope. Really? Would it this be three times four? Why? Because that's the corner part no. on the right side. This is the square we're looking at. Yeah. Seven is for this entire line. Oh. Uh. Okay? So, 
We need this side or this side. Four times three, yeah. So I'm going to take three because both sides are three, right? Yes. And this bottom one's four and the top one's four, right? Mm -hmm. So what two measurements am I taking? Um, four and three. Four meters and three times meters. three meters equals? Uh, twelve. Meters squared. Twelve meters squared. Okay. Got it? Now yes. let's do the top one. Rectangle two, tell me the measurements we're using. Well, we can actually use that seven one on Again, top. because if this is top, then seven's on the bottom. Seven meters. And four and seven, right? Four on this side and four on this side. So seven times four, 28 meters squared. How and much is all this total? It'd be 28 plus that, so yeah. it'd be uh, 30. Almost, 40. Oh. Good job, you didn't carry one, okay? So okay. then 40 meters squared. You get it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so for this, we need carpet enough for 40 meters squared. 40 okay. square meters. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, this was A, so you don't have to do A on your lesson practice in a minute. Okay. Good job. All right, that's lesson 115.